You might have heard the saying, can't see the forest for the trees. But what if I had you visualize 600 million trees? And what if I were to also tell you that those 600 million trees were destroyed every year to satisfy an addiction? We will explore this further in this episode of Tobacco, Tobacco Hackers. Hackers. Welcome. 600 million trees? Yep. And that's just one of the ways the tobacco industry harms our planet every year. The amount of deforestation that these companies do to our earth takes up about the same amount of space as 280,000 football fields. Wow. I can't imagine. Maybe this will help. 280,000 football fields would roughly take up the same amount of space as the area between Katabu, Kayana, Norvik, and Selawik, as well as that beautiful tundra in between. Let me guess, all the square miles of timber go into the paper that make up cigarettes? Each tree produces 15 packs of cigarettes. Wood is needed to cure the tobacco leaves, as well as create paper for the cigarettes and the packaging. So I guess the tobacco industry is doing more than its fair share in the world's deforestation. Yeah, remember those 280,000 football fields? Well, get this. The amount of deforestation occurring right now would be about one football field per second. If tobacco industries didn't exist, it would substantially reduce the amount of trees we lose each year. If you look at the amount of deforestation that's occurred in the last 40 years alone, it would take up pretty much the same space as the continent of Europe. Now, if this continues, it's going to be bad news. We'll have lost all of our rainforests in 78 years. What are you looking at? I'm only 65. No, no, I wasn't thinking about how old you were. It's just that, you know, a baby born today probably won't see a rainforest by the time they're your age. And you know, rainforests aren't just found in South America. 80% of Southeast Alaska is a rainforest. Well, that's not a comforting thought. I can only imagine how much waste is generated by an industry to destroy so much timber. In 2017, I visited Ambler, Kivalina, Buckland, Sulawik, and Noatek to help reduce pollution in local landfills. It was intriguing work, and it made me think of waste on a larger scale. So I began doing research into global pollution. Is any of this research tied to tobacco? Yeah, actually I have some crazy discoveries. And the environment suffers from both the producers and the users. And here's some food for thought. Producers cause the deforestation and put out megatons of chemicals and pollutants. The users toss out vaping pens and cigarette butts, which then leach nicotine and other toxic chemicals into our soils and waterways. Not good for pets and wildlife. Makes you wonder who's really at fault here. Right! It's the old chicken and the egg conundrum. If the users don't use, then the... Then the producers don't produce. Sounds so simple, doesn't it? It sounds like it's a little bit like an iceberg. There's the tiny bit above the water, and then there's the 90% below it. Exactly. So for starters, cigarette users littered the beaches and waterways with 4.2 million cigarette butts. That was collected in 2019 alone. And that's just the amount collected in city and beach cleanups in one year. And these things don't break down as quickly as you might think. So let's play a little guessing game. How long do you think it takes for a cigarette butt to break down? Five years. Ten months. Two days. Ten years. Oh, ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. It takes a cigarette butt between 18 months and 10 years to break down. The reason that it takes so long is it's made up of cellulose acetate, a type of plastic that takes a very long time to degrade. It amounts to a big problem when you realize 5.5 trillion cigarettes are smoked annually in the world. Yes, and by weight, cigarette butts add up to almost 1.7 billion pounds each year. 
To help visualize that, imagine that it would take 8,450 freight trains to carry that much weight. Wow. And that's just on the consumer side of things. Think about the environmental consequences of tobacco production. Oh man, if we look at the pollution coming from factories and facilities that produce tobacco products, the numbers are staggering. So in 2018, tobacco and vaping factories put out 2.7 million tons of electronic waste. 2.7 million tons! Oh man, I feel one of your freight train calculations coming on. Yep. So the typical freight train consists of a mile in cars, train cars. They're 50 feet each. So imagine 266 trains stretched bumper to bumper from here in Kotzebue to Wainwright, and you get an idea about the electronic waste. And that includes toxic chemicals, right? That's right. Nearly a million pounds of toxic waste were produced by tobacco and vaping facilities in 2019. Those are staggering numbers, but what does it all mean? How does that affect those of us living here, north of the Arctic Circle? It especially impacts people who live up in the Arctic Circle. You know, tobacco companies are a huge contributor to climate change. And as our polar ice sheets start to melt, the whole world gets warmer and our water levels rise. This causes flooding in coastal communities and limits the amount of food that polar bears can catch, causing them to come closer to villages. I heard there was a polar bear sighted at one of the fish camps outside of Kotzebue recently. There sure was. And I've been told it's pretty rare to see a polar bear around here, especially on dry land in the middle of August. Anyhow, we could go on forever about tobacco and the environment, but I think we're running out of time. How about we go ahead and ask the classroom a question? I agree. Here's one for you guys. What do you think would be the most effective way of putting an end to the pollution and deforestation caused by tobacco companies? Do you think it would be better to talk to the tobacco companies? Would it be better to make it illegal to create tobacco and vaping products altogether? Or would it be better to encourage your friends and family not to use these products? Also, what challenges do you think you'd find in any of these approaches? 